What's up? I see all the people come in. What up, Paul? Cool, cool. We're gonna let the let it build up a little bit. Okay, it's going up there. It's going up. What's up, everybody? Um, don't know. My name is Omar, seeing cultural partnership strategist for Finish Line. I appreciate you all tuning in again every Friday. Uh, thank you for, you know, I got to make sure I'm, my hair is clean before I go live. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in every Friday. You know, there's some great conversations with some amazing people. Uh, last week, we spoke to Eve, talked about, you know, allyship with what's going on today. And, you know, the feedback was great. Um, yeah, so... You know, wait for Lenny to tap in. I see y'all talking about the, uh, the Jordan 5s, some 14s. What's up, what's up? I see all the waves. What's up there? Hold on. Fourteens. Good, my brother. My man, what's up? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Appreciate you taking the time out on this Friday. Yes, sir. Nah, my pleasure, man. All right, cool. What you got I going just, on this weekend? I just put some lotion on. I look crazy, greased right. up. <laughs> 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 um, just chilling, you know. I mean, can't celebrate the obvious, you know what I mean? Can't, shouldn't, wouldn't, not. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, just gonna chill. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hang with the fam, you know. Keep it pretty yeah. simple. Keep it simple. But you gotta. What you, what, you, what you going? What you doing? Uh, you know, I'm here. You know, I ain't going. I'm not going outside too much. You know, I gotta stay. Gotta stay healthy. So, you know, but I see what the vibe is. <laughs> out of, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, different. Uh, you're in a different zone out there, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's get right into it. No, I'm really. Yeah. Excited for you to uh, tap in with us and have this kind of, kind of conversation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your experience and being within the industry for like decades now. So how would yeah. you, you know, describe, you know, the evolution of black music based on like, you know, I remember just reading about history and, you know, back during like slavery times, like they couldn't have played the drums just because they, they thought they might like relay messages to other plantations to like, you know, music. Give them signals and give them... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, shit. I mean, it's, it's obviously a long way from then to now. Mm -hmm. I, I just personally, I just think um, it's the soundtrack, right, to everything that we do. I think it, uh, it literally gets us through everything we need to get through, and that's like happy, sad, you know, solemn. I mean, right. whether it's a, whether it's you know somebody passing away to you know you um, accomplishing something, winning something, a championship. Uh, you know, uh, receiving a diploma or graduating from school or, by, you know, whatever the case may be, um, yeah. obviously film and television, right? Like for me, music, man, it just, man, it just literally has gotten me through everything. And I know, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of, not a cliche, but sort of like a, a general known statement that just like music, you know what I mean? It, it gets us through everything, but it's like, it literally does. Like I literally look at it as the soundtrack. Whenever I'm feeling a certain way, uh, about something or somebody, I may, you know, throw on some music whenever I'm mm -hmm. feeling nostalgic, whatever I'm feeling, you know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, it helps sort of dictate my mood or, or keep me at a, a certain place or take me to a certain place. You know what I'm saying? So uh, how it's evolved over the years is, you know, is obviously it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's revolutionized. You know what I'm saying? It's, ter I, I, I was going to say really more so what's going on now. And then like, it made me think of like, um, back in the, I believe it was the 70s when like uh, Marvin Gaye made What's Going On and you know what I'm saying? Or yes. like in the 80s when like Public Enemy, you know, made Fight the Power and just like, especially for what's, go what's been going on now, like again, right, the soundtrack to what's going on and helping us get through what we need to get through, you know? Right. And especially for me, I feel like you listen to music today, it's almost like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the artists are almost like reporters in a sense mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just like, you know, singing or rapping about, you know, how they grew up and things they seen like, you know, in their neighborhood. 
So I feel like, you know, over time, people just kind of express how they feel and what yeah, they see yeah. in like, yeah. you know, the area. So, and how would you describe, you know, its effect on culture today? Because I feel like starting with the music and it kind of turns to trends based on like what the artists are wearing and things of that nature. So, um, <clears throat> today in general, not today, what's going on as a recent. Right, yes, today in general. Okay, okay, in general. I mean, I think it's just. It, no matter what the time is, right? It's a reflection of what's going on in your life. It's a reflection of what you've been through. It's a reflection mm -hmm. of what you've experienced, of what you, um, you know, have accomplished, have witnessed, have, you know, endured. And, and it's really just, it's a reflection of that. And it's a, uh, it's sort of like, you know, that, that the, the piece of that person's life, you know what I mean? And what they've seen. And uh, I think back of listening to stuff like, you know, even listening to like a Nas or like somebody like there's some people who like have like maybe gone through certain things. Right. And they write about that. And then there's some people like who have seen certain things and they're, you know, and at the same time, they're poets and they get to kind of like just visualize what that is for you. You know what I mean? Even if they necessarily didn't like go through it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it made me think of the Nas thing. It was the anniversary today, I think for still Maddox and just how, how he used to say, how he used to say like, you know, I would just, um, writing down or, 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 or putting down the music what I was watching from my windowsill or from my window, you know what I mean, or or yeah. on the block or whatever. So, uh, again, man, it's just, it's a representation of of everything you are or everything, you know, the people around you are or your your surroundings are, your community, your crew, your whomever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then speaking on that, like, for me, how do you feel, why do you think the music just resonates with so many people? Because, you know, we all go to, like, clubs and things like that. And it's usually just like the one genre of music that mm -hmm. plays within uh, those spaces. So why do you think it resonates with all type of people who go in, whether like white, black, Spanish, you know, things like that? Um, I mean, it's because we all going through the same thing. And a lot of us come from different cities, different states, different everything. But like we're coming from the same place and we're experiencing the same things. You know what I'm saying? The same, you know, different, obviously, neighborhoods throughout the world. But we're going through the same exact good stuff or bullshit or, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it, again, it's a reflection of that. And, and luckily we have these poets who get to like, you know, really just write down and, 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 and kind of like give us that through, 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 like, again, through our soundtrack, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I'm so sorry. Somebody like yeah. at my door and they keep, they keep like, oh, yeah. comments looking like you know you guys see all those prints on his wall fire Sorry. No, I'm good, I'm good. Just to so say, this is not even a stunt. Like, it was literally a <laughs> Ducey delivery. Because they keep knocking. I'm like, why do they keep knocking? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> all good, all good. <laughs> for the weekend. Needs that for the weekend, you right, know? Right, exactly. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so I guess, like, lastly, like, what do you want people to take away from, like, the artists who create, you know, the music that, you know, basically they create and plays in the clubs? Because I feel like some people may, like, misconstrue the meshes in the music and some people just understand you know they're speaking from like a good place so i want people to take away that you know artists are giving out you know most artists mm -hmm. are giving you you know their everything you know they're giving you their soul they're giving you their inner thoughts they're giving you their vulnerability they're giving you their you know again um depictment of what's going on they're giving you their experience they're giving you their representation and their they're a, they're a spokesman for us, so a spokeswoman for us. You know what I mean? They they literally, you know, are a representation of all of us in a way. And then I feel like us as fans or us as, you know, whatever the case may be, we take on to whom we like. You know what I mean? Whether it's what Meek is saying, what Wale is saying, or what, you know, Young Thug is saying, or what Drake is saying, or what, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. what Jay is saying. Like we then latch on to the people that we feel represent us most. You know what I mean? But all yeah. in all, there is no like, right and wrong in music, you know what I mean? Like people are giving you 
their all. They're giving you what they've seen, what they've experienced, what they love, what they care about, what they don't, what they want to speak out about, what they're upset about, what they're angry about, what they're fed up with, and right. what they love. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's important that, you know, you latch on or you find whom you feel represents that message best for you and, and just, you know, hold on to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, like, in essence, it's, it's an art form, you know. You can't tell somebody mm -hmm. your art is wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Just like our art, right? And and you can't, you know, Murakami is different from Cause, and Cause is different from, you know, Kayla May, and Kayla May is different from Hebrew Brentley, and Hebrew Brentley mm -hmm. is different from Susai. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's all different, mm -hmm. and they're all brilliant. They're all great. They're all, you know what I mean? Some people look at Basquiat and, and see, you know, genius some people look at it and see a mess you know what i mean like you know i don't we can't the people who know know you know what i mean but we can't really determine you just you just latch on or you follow or you take on to whomever you feel represents you the most exactly it's all about like that feeling that you know mm -hmm. whatever feeling that evokes inside you you kind of mm -hmm. and then last year i saw somebody ask about um your book oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the book is coming <laughs> man sorry it's been so delayed i've been I've been bullshitting. I'm not going to lie. I've been playing around. Um, I was like a year, two years behind. But uh, uh, like I've said before, quarantine has really, really, really been great for me as far as the book. Me and my cousin have been working on it, um, getting it down. And, you know, I had to really take 25 years of photos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And kind of condense them and, and archive them and, and take all of the negatives and digitize them. And so it was a lot of work. So Mm -hmm. I got about, you know, I got about a, uh, almost a year's worth of work done in the last three months, yeah. which is great. So it's coming, 2021. Yeah, because I can only imagine, like, you're talking about 20 years of just, like, photos. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousands and thousands and oh thousands. Oh, my God. Photos. No, it's ridiculous. So I got to condense that down and really, really pick out what I like. Shout out, big up to It's The Real, my guys, Eric and Jeff on there. Yeah, and I saw Sean Brown in there, too, so. Sean Shout Brown, what up? <laughs> But yeah, you know, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you taking the time out, especially I know people are going away and doing their thing. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, you got something else to say before we close out? Man, um, I think I'm good, man. Um, let's stay focused, man. Let's, 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 let's try to turn things around. I know 2020 hasn't been the greatest, but, you know, we got to do our best to turn it around and make sure, you know, uh, we take what's ours, for real. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, I'll my let brother. you go. Thank you again for the time. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you, you, O. Yeah, I'll, I appreciate I'll be out there you. soon. Yeah, definitely. Please, please come. Please calm please. down. <laughs> but, nah, I'm I appreciate for everybody for tuning in um, every Friday around this time. Next week, we have Biggs. So that'll be a great conversation as well. Oh, it's going to be and, dope. Um, yeah, everybody yeah. be safe this holiday weekend. And thank you. My brother, peace. Cool. Take care. All right.